which is one of the important topic it is office 365 you know so when we are uh, doing this attendance sheet that time so this is my excel i'm running this excel on the browser and this excel sheet i can able to share to my team from here directly okay and this excel data stores in my onedrive directly so i can access this sheet from anywhere anytime including my mobile phone my tablet this laptop or from some other browser i can able to access it so why how it is because of this is office 365 okay this is office 365 formalities office 365 now it is called as a microsoft 365 okay it is a cloud based services it is a cloud based service what is office 365 it is formally sorry it is uh, exactly say microsoft 365 or office 365 is nothing but an office suit nothing but a office suit which we have word excel powerpoint outlook and onedrive in this office suit plus for organizations businesses or enterprises there is some enterprise applications also there like microsoft teams sharepoint and exchange kind of stuff also include in office receipt. depends upon the subscription it is a subscription model you can subscribe for monthly or yearly also it's a cloud service model software as a service what is software as a service you can access the application uh, and use it that's it whatever the application that platform it is running what is underlying hardware you don't worry about it simply connect it through internet and access an application you can cancel these subscriptions anytime we can access microsoft office applications online using web browser offline from your desktop and mobile applications from my desktop also i can access it is this is my word document and this is office 365 subscription only okay uh, offline because it is running in my desktop online it is access from my web browser i can also access from my mobile application access your office apps from anywhere anytime any device what it is anywhere so maybe you are not carrying i am not carrying my laptop so i know the email id and password like a login id and password from anywhere wherever it is there if it is internet i can access my applications anytime of course morning even i'm in office and are not an office i can able to access it any device not required to be your laptop or desktop it can be accessed from your mobile phone or it can be accessed from your tablet also and any type of voices okay any voices like it will support windows OS, of course mac voices android ios type of things these two are mobile voices this is system even if you have a linux you can access because of web browser support is there okay if you have a browser online access okay this is offline access and online access through web browser if you have any type of wires it is if you have a browser you can access it continuous updates new features will automatically add it see it is the co-pilot is uh, now it is introduced maybe it is added somewhere i have to search it okay co-pilot kind of stuff automation analysis power apps these are all newly added so then automatically it is integrated in my office always support i have gotten any issues with my application 
I can directly contact Microsoft for the support. Okay. Once again, what is Office 365 or uh, Microsoft 365? It is Office Suite with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlet OneDrive. So OneDrive is additional here. Okay. Plus, this Microsoft Office 365 depends upon your subscription. It also gives some enterprise applications like Microsoft Teams, Exchange, SharePoint, and a few other kind of stuff. Just like you can see, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, OneNote. See, SharePoint, Teams, Engage, Stream, Project, Forms, Power Apps, Insights, Sway, Whiteboards, Power BI's, Bookings. These are all. I got it because of this. What in encryption? Like sorry, subscription. <laughs> okay. It's a cloud-based software. Cloud-based service, which is software as a service. Of Microsoft 365 or Office 365 is a subscription model. You have to pay for monthly or yearly. Okay, but you can cancel anytime. Okay, this is the points. Like you can access your office online as well as offline through web browser. You can access or desktop application or as a mobile application. You can access. You can access from anywhere, anytime. Any device support is also there. Okay. Any operating, like you are using iPhone, it works. You are using Android phone, it works. You are using Windows OS, it works. You are using Mac OS, it works. You are using Linux based OSs through web browser, it works. Okay, that's it is anywhere, anytime, any device. This is about Office 365 or a Microsoft 365. Got the point, guys? Yes, sir. So, why we should go to the Office 365? Normally, you have a system. You have a system that is okay. You have a computer, and so you can purchase a direct Office. Purchase Office like a 2021 or 22 or 23 model. It is. So you purchase an office, it is one-time purchase. It is a one-time purchase. You purchase office, install into your PC. It is one PC or one laptop or one Mac, one license. Okay? So one single license you will get it. You can only use in this system only. With the same license, it cannot use in another PCs. You have another laptop, then you have to purchase another one for different license. You have to this license, you cannot use any another system. Okay, point number one. Only one system, you can use it. Either it is PC or laptop or a, a MacBook. Only one system, one license only you can use. Not we cannot use same license for the multiple devices. Of course, there is no online kind of stuff and no mobile kind of stuff. For mobile, again, you have to purchase separately. It is one-time purchase. One-time purchase means we have to pay only one time. Only one time only you are paying. You are not paying for monthly and yearly. Not required to pay. Okay? That is another limited support limited support so almost all 60 days after you purchase the first 60 days free support is there later it is paid support after very long time means after three four years even paid support is also not there you have to purchase a new version another one is a new features are introduced you have your own like I purchased 2016 or 2019 office. In 2021, I got new features. 
మే బి నవ్ ఐ పర్చేస్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఆఫీస్ మే బి నెక్స్ట్ వన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఐ గెట్ ఎ న్యూ ఫ్యూచర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ దేర్ ఇన్ ఓల్డర్ వన్ సో యూ వాంట్ గెట్ ఇట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు పర్చేస్ ద న్యూ వర్షన్ ఎనీవే ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ దట్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు పర్చేస్ ఇట్ ఇట్ వాంట్ అప్డేట్ ఆటోమేటికలీ updates for limited period of time also for certain period like a 3 4 years you will get a product related updates later it is only security critical updates only so later there is no updates at all for example if i have microsoft office 2013 it won't update anyway <laughs> 2013 never updates now 2007 2010 2013 i'll start maybe it is 2016 may having some critical updates 2019 may having updates some updates only important security updates okay so if you have to purchase the latest version then you will get a product related updates okay so it is office suit if you choose a offline one like it you get a desktop applications word excel powerpoint access publisher one note kind of stuff no one drive you can use on one single pc or mac so one time purchase you pay for only once limited period of free support and paid support first is free support is 30 to 60 days later it is paid support later paid support is completed you won't get any support third party support you have to choose for new features you have to purchase a new version anyway and updates are for a limited period of time only so this is the difference between of microsoft 365 or office 365 to regular office which is advantages for you which is more advantages for you depends upon your usage and work you have to choose the package as an individual user as a organization okay both are there okay guys uh, understand this type of it's like microsoft office one time purchase kind of stuff yes sir so here is a comparison chart is there okay so this is office home or a student 2021 the cost is 9199 it is one time purchase means no need to pay monthly and yearly okay one pc one mac number of users only one pc or mac only no cloud storages no multiple devices no outlook because it's a home if you have to buy prof- professional then it is you will get outlook cost increases see there is a few things can't able to see here it is access to support experts classic 2000 version of word excel powerpoint or like one pc or one mac so you click on learn more so then you may give it may give some different uh, uh, kind of stuff here so you want a business this is a one time purchase it will give a lot of other uh, facilities so you will get out like calls okay we'll go back guys office 365 majorly office 365 or microsoft 365 three variants are there three variants one is one is for home for business for enterprises also there i didn't add the enterprise here i only i it is home and business is there okay edition comparison for a home in the home edition you can see this is for home okay office microsoft 365 personal microsoft 365 family
ओके माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव पर्सनल एडिशन फॉर एग्जांपल यू वांट अ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फॉर योर सेल फोन देन यू हैव टू पे फॉर ईयर फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन पर ईयर इट इज पर मंथली यू हैव टू पे लाइक दिस फोर एट नाइन ओके एंड दिस इज पर ईयर एंड यू विल गेट अ वर्ड एक्सेल पावर पॉइंट एंड डिफेंडर वन ड्राइव वन टेराबाइट ऑफ वन ड्राइव स्टोरेज वन टेराबाइट ऑफ वन ड्राइव स्टोरेज सो दिस इज पर्सनल क्लाउड स्टोरेज यू कैन एक्सेस द डाटा फ्रॉम एनी वेयर एनी टाइम थ्रू इंटरनेट यूल गेट आउटलुक एंड यू विल गेट ए एडिटर एंड दिस इज चिप क्लिप चैम्प इज लाइक ए वीडियो एडिटर कैंड स्टार एंड वन नॉट सो वनली वन वन पर्सन पर्सनल इज फॉर वन सिंगल पर्सन but you can sign into five different devices like uh, you can access from your laptop desktop mobile phones tablets like we can uh, use on a different devices you will get 1 terabyte of storage apps with premium features and offline access also there means you can install in your desktop or you can access from your web browser anything it is there and you can access your documents if you store in this one drive any time anywhere you can access you can edit it from web browser you can access any time anywhere offline access online access also possible okay this is for one user cost next one is family one to six members total six members can able to access microsoft office by paying one year Six thousand one ninety nine per year. How many users can able to access? Six members. For example, you are the person you purchase Office uh, Microsoft three sixty five, and you can add uh, another five members. Each member can able to access five devices, and each member get one terabyte of storage. Each member get a. One terabyte of storage. So you have six members totally, then six terabytes. Okay. So same thing you will get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Defender, OneDrive, Outlook. Okay. These things only you will get it. This is for a family or a personal, like a home users, individual users purpose. Not for organization. This is offices simply. a cloud based service simply log in and start using it okay you will get word excel powerpoint outlook kind of stuff from the office 365 you can purchase for one user like a personal or you can use it for a up to six members one to six members so each one you will get it 1 terabyte of cloud storage guys understand the for home Which one is better, personal or family? Family is better. Family is better. Why? Because of six people. This is by yeah. divided by six, almost like thousand rupees per person. Very good. The next one is business. in the business also we have different packages are available okay different packages depends like business basics business standard business premium apps for business depends upon the organization requirement they will choose which one is better for their business business basic and business standard both are almost all same okay both are almost all same except like this business standard will get a desktop applications desktop version of word excel powerpoint and outlook is there in this one desktop versions are not there it's only mobile or online only web or mobile version of word and excel powerpoint okay all remaining are same to same only but what is the business edition what is the for form see here it is there is some enterprise related 
things are added here. See it is Teams, SharePoint, Exchange. What is this Exchange? I will explain what is the main benefit of Office 365 for organizations. Guys, I have an, what is the benefit of cloud? It will reduce the cost, right? I have an organization. In my organization, around 50 employees are working. Okay. For this 50 employees need to communicate using mail communication. Right? So 50 employees need a mail account, right? So what I have to do? So first of all, I have to build a mail server. For authenticating users, I need a authentication server. Okay. First is like a authentication server. Mail server. This mail server can be down any time. So then I have to put a another mail server. Backup mail servers I have to create it. Okay. Next, public mail connector I have to create it. Public mail, not, not only from here to here, right? So from outside to inside, you have to communicate. So like we have to configure certain services like a federation services to communicate from internal domain to external one. Okay. So mail servers I have to install. I have to run these servers, backup mail servers, storage to store your mails, separate storage server I have to create it. And connecting connectors to different type of mail communication. Okay. To send and receive purposes. How to do it. So again, in my data center, I have to create all these things. Not only physical hardware, operating system, application licenses. Okay. This cost is also on the organization. Just for sake of 50 users, why should I put all this equipment? Okay. If I'm very big organization, maybe I will manage it. Okay. But small organization, I cannot bear all these things. See it is. I have 50 users pay 50 into 145. This is basic. 50 into 145. This exchange from Office 365 provide mail communication. Simply smarter business class email and calendar. Okay. So in the organization, I will create all these 50 accounts. Anyway, for the my 50 users, I created in a, my Office 365 and also will get mail IDs from it. So people easily can communicate with the mail. And I don't require to configure uh, uh, as physical system that uh, network securities, federations are not required to create anything. Simply go to the exchange option in Office 365 add all the users get the email id and password share it to the users so they can start using it it simplifies the load on the organization both capital expenditure and operational expenditure why operational expenditure again i have to get one uh, administrator exchange administrator i have to pay for that person now it is not required simply office 365 you are getting this mail services Next one is SharePoint services. What is the SharePoint services? See, I have a document. It is in the SharePoint only. In the SharePoint. Okay. It is in the SharePoint. I can share my data to the SharePoint. Through the SharePoint, I can share my documents within the organization. And I can share a web blocks. PPTs or web, web pages like I created like this. I created a notes which is help my organization to people to understand and reading purposes. So it is I created a, a simple site. So it is I created a site. Page C. This is my web page name URL. Okay. Within the organization, people can able to access it so what is the devops what is hdlc what is sil what is devops life cycles what are the different tools and what is the purpose of these tools okay so don't worry that's a 20 viewers are only for my organization okay 
I think I am only one person who is using that one. Okay. So this is, I can create a, a collaborations, blogs, you know, blogspot.com blogs, right? You can create a blog, sites, okay? You can share your data through the share point. To do that one, again, in this existing environment, this existing environment, I have to add SharePoint servers. So again, I need a SharePoint developer, SharePoint administrator. Okay. So again, it is increased. You have to purchase a server. You have to install a OS, Windows OS compulsory. And then you have to purchase SharePoint services, so, um, licenses also. Okay. Instead of that one, simple Office 365 providing SharePoint services. Okay. Microsoft Teams. What is the Microsoft Teams? We are connected through the Microsoft Teams. We can conducting meetings, right? We can both voice, video sharing, document sharing, chat support is also there. And some other kind of stuff, features also included in this teams within the organization we can conduct the meetings and we share the meeting recordings to that within the organization of course we are also conducting these uh, meetings and i recorded these records you cannot able to access it but i can able to access and uh, i will download and uh, sharing to you right so this is microsoft teams collaboration is SharePoint email exchange okay meeting is teams see not only word excel powerpoint and outlook guys we are also getting these additional cloud services as a cloud services same services also we are getting plus clipchamp and microsoft loop is also showing here okay so but there's a the difference. There is a, both are similar. I already I told, if you take business standard, you'll get a desktop version of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Okay. Same thing. You will get an Exchange. You will get a SharePoint. Plus, you'll get a uh, Team, OneDrive, Clipchamp, and uh, Microsoft Loopers. Additionally, these two things are added. Okay. No difference. So this is only web or mobile. This is web and mobile as well as a desktop applications. Yes, understand the difference, basic and uh, standard. And what is Exchange, SharePoint, Teams? Fast, fast, respond. Yes, sir. Very good. Business premium. What is business premium? See, the cost is different means definitely there is so many things are added. See, Microsoft Peer View, Defender, Intunes, Loops, Entra ID, Clipchamps. These are the things. What is this Entra ID? Is nothing but a Azure ID. This Entra ID is nothing but a Azure ID. So, you know, we need an Active Directory environment. So, we need an Active Directory. We know what is the purpose of Active Directory. So, your user account stores in the Active Directory domain controller. So, you log into your computer means, so in the organization, we have, we need a server. We need a server and install it with the Active Directory inside and create user accounts, join your domain computers there. So you can access any resources within the domain, right? For securing your organization, securing your organization, users, groups, computers, resources, we are required Active Directory environment. Why we need an, this Active Directory to secure your network within the within within your network within the, not just uh, within your uh, domain so 
we can able to share we can able to secure your uh, documents authentication kind of stuff right so of course we are using act to directory so our employees i have 50 employees 50 employees accounts are created in a act to directory when they are logging to their computer act to directory server is authenticating you domain controller is authenticating users that's the point we are already discussed and this active directory server again we need a backup domain controller okay so one domain controller is there then we need a backup domain controller second is public connectivities so to avoid all these things to to avoid on premises kind of stuff i want a cloud active directory services i need active directory services but not in the on premises i want it from the cloud so then i choose azure ad so you have to take azure ad and also you are planning for office 365 both are you doing instead of that one you want anyway azure ad right so then in office 365 it is providing entra id it's just like it is azure ad instead of purchasing azure ad services separately within the office 365 you are getting entra id okay so that's the point so active directory in the on premises is our active directory domain controller in the cloud in our azure ad in office 365 it's entra id so you don't need to install a server install uh, configuring as a domain controller this is not required now okay you can go to the azure ad now that is also not required if you are using your organization using office 365 go for the premium and above so then you'll get this entry id services okay intunes is to maintain a multiple enterprise level servers and uh, desktops mobiles for how people are like the users required an application to deploy inside then we can control this intunes and finally apps for business your organization think they want office applications not business applications only office application required for their business not other things like you know, they don't want uh, exchange or sharepoint or teams they want only the office related applications office suit is their required not other things so they can use only word excel powerpoint outlook and onedrive both desktop and web and mobile versions and one terabyte of cloud storages they are getting with the apps for business guys understand what is this entra id exchange sharepoint kind of stuff yes sir okay this is enterprise e3 e5 these are all enterprise okay in the enterprise it is very costly see per user cost is 4555 this is higher enterprises which is our servant is using e5 subscription okay so you can try for what is e3 E E one, E two, E E one, E three, E five, and one more is there. So try for that one and also check it. Uh, the differences. Okay, I am showing the top one, E five. Okay, combines best in the class productive apps with advanced security, compliance, and ethical capabilities. You are getting so many things with it. Say Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, SharePoint, OneDrive. Windows as a service or VA Pro edition also you are getting. Enter ID, Defender, etc. Azure Information Protection, Information Protection and Governance, Pure View, Insider Risk Management, or VA Pro. Okay, so like this, there's a lot of uh, 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 enterprise things you are getting. You one. 11 enterprise 
365 for a mobile, Outlook, Bookings, OneDrive, Stream. What is a stream? Like a YouTube within the organization access. Stream is used to, this is my OneDrive. See. So, see, this is my media. So whatever the class I have taken that is recorded and right. So those records will be stored here. Okay. In my one drive. So today is 19. Okay. This is the last. Um, this is the morning class. This is yesterday class. I'll open yesterday class. I'll close it on. Okay. So the, okay. See, see, this is my Microsoft stream. I can share the streaming video to any of my organization. I can edit, I can record, I can upload, I can create a playlist with it. Okay. I can edit with a clip chart. I can download it also. So this is also one of the Office 365 service. Okay. So there is so many services from Office 365. So if you are uh, like, you can able to click here. So I'm showing that one. No appointment booking is there, like a booking app is there. Power apps. Okay, this is general, all apps. See it is. There's a lot of applications from Office 365. And that it is enterprise E5. So I will get a more application than required. Kaizala. What is Kaizala? WhatsApp. Within the organization, it's a WhatsApp related messages. Okay. You can create like a Google Forms type. Forms means Google Form. Planner. Project management related. Streams. I already showed that one. Uh, so I am not using insights. Um, like insight is Viva insight is uh, it's about like a, how an employee is more interactive with an organization like this. Engage bookings, appointment bookings, scheduling meetings, appointments. Okay, like this, there is a different applications inside. Okay, for a personal you will get a, like a home editions, regular office on, but in a business and enterprise for your organization, email support, SharePoint uh, support is there, team support is there, plus additional few things. Okay, sir. Okay. Manodi Chapan. Sivak Chipera. Sivak Chipera. Close is a man and door six. Okay, sorry guys. Yeah. This is about a office three sixty five. Okay. So major importance of Office 365 is, first important one is, what is Office 365 or a Microsoft 365? These are important one. Next one is comparison. When you are comparing, so when people are asking comparison, so why it is an advantage, you can tell about regular office. What is the disadvantage in regular office? Only works in one PC, okay? And uh, limited support, limited uh, video of time for the updates like that okay so that is a di little disadvantage of regular office because once you install in one pc until unless your system is down you cannot use that license in anywhere 
but this is SaaS model subscription you can pay for monthly or yearly you can cancel any time for personal as well as a business purpose office 365 useful in a business model you are getting exchange like a mail services sharepoint services team services and other additional application services also it is providing okay so if you are going with a business office 365 for your business you no need to purchase separate mail servers sharepoint servers not required within the your license only you are getting like that only thing is you have to pay for a per user per month only. okay and that's it the differences packages and a different hosts like i have written here what is insurance okay what is exchange sharepoint kind of stuff also written please read it once and there is a questions also there so these questions are um, same thing uh, these are questions i have extracted from uh, learn.microsoft.com only okay so in learn.microsoft.com you can see these things word uh, like a see uh, a cloud subscription service that consists of app services such as uh, office apps uh, teams windows word class security and more okay so this is a correct answer okay what is hybrid work there are hybrid and flexible work okay what is the co-pilot okay small mouse questions just for your refreshing what you learn about your things okay if you do if you got that questions good if you don't get it no problem but read it and check the answers is important guys understand what is office 365 yes sir good is guys are having energy to continue another point another session or can we continue tomorrow?